hi everyone welcome back again to my channel today i'm gonna show you how i'm gonna cook my egusi soup in less than five minutes so i'm just gonna show you my ingredients i've got the stock fish i've got the um iru which is the um locust beans i've got the fuku which is the um cow lungs and i've got the blended crayfish i've got the um assorted meat and I've got the boneless um, cow feet, I've got the cow skin, I've got the blended pepper, I've got the blended melon as well. And I've got the egusi, which is the lemon, <laughs> melon, melon, which I've blended, I'm sorry. And then I've got my vegetable leaves, which is ugu. I'm using ugu. I'm not a really big fan of spinach. So you can use any vegetable of your choice. You can use bitter leaf, you can use um what i leave any vegetable you prefer you can use but i am using ugu leaves so the first thing i'm doing is i've already preheated the um pot i want it to be a little bit oil because my palm oil is a little bit um thick or whatever it is so i'm gonna dissolve the um, palm oil in the pot and leave it for just um 10 seconds not too hot and then i'm gonna add my iru which is the locust beans i like to fry mine and some people just put it immediately after the vegetable and everything but i like to fry mine just for that little bit of aroma and then i'm gonna chop my um onions in there and let it fry for another 10 seconds because i don't want it to be too dry and then i'm going to add my pepper my blended pepper to it i'm supposed to add the um lemon i mean i said lemon i'm supposed to add the melon first but i just wanted to do it in another way so i added my blended pepper first into the um sorry into the hot palm oil and i made it a little bit dry and then i added my melon my egusi and then i have to stay together because if you don't stay it's gonna get burnt so i had to keep stirring and mixing and stirring everything together and then i added my crayfish and then i added my meat everything both the um cow skin the pomo the roundabout everything i added everything and, and then i put a little bit of maggi not so much at the beginning i put it at the beningi <laughs> and then i had a i added a little bit of um water just to make it a little bit um watery but not too watery because i like my vegetable to be a little bit thick not having water underneath the the vegetable and then i've added my stock fish and everything i'm adding hot water you can add any water of your choice. you can add cold water or anything but i'm adding hot water to eat and then i'm just gonna cover it up for i think i covered it for like five minutes but i kept I, oh, sorry i keep on checking on it because i don't want it to get burnt underneath because egusi is always bound to get burnt if you don't mix it together so i keep on mixing and then the next thing i'm doing now is i'm adding my vegetable to it i had a little bit i mix it together i add a little bit i mix it together so that it's good the egusi is going to cover up the vegetable so you can see what i'm doing here i don't need to even explain i need to just leave it and then let the music just <laughs> but i need to explain so what i'm doing now is i'm adding all the vegetable in there and then i'm going then i'm gonna cover i'm so sorry i don't know why i'm rushing my words so i'm just gonna cover it after mixing everything and making sure the egg is round even the pomo doesn't want to fall out the spoon you can see <laughs> anyway <laughs> so i'm just gonna cover it now for another 10 minutes but on a low heat you have to reduce your cooker or your fire underneath your pot anyway i'm just gonna cover it now and leave it for another five minutes but you have to keep checking on it because a goosey is gonna get burnt if you don't check on it so the more i'm checking on it i'm turning it because i don't want it to get burnt on then it's good if if it get burnt it's gonna taste in your vegetable that is burnt so you have to be very careful of that so i'm just i'm just mixing everything together and making sure it's it's not burning <laughs> it's not burning so i try and taste it if the vegetable is soft now and yeah it is so quick and easy so our egusi is ready our egusi soup is ready look at that oh my god let me tell you the secret i had to pound yam so i had it with pounded yam so i had to pound yam to eat this egg i can't just resist it with pounded yam 
I'm not a big fan of eating amala or abula. Abula is like drop or ab amala with egusi. No, I like it with eba, cold eba. I am typical Ijebu girl now because we eat cold eba with um, a kokore. So I like cold eba with this horse egusi soup. Forget it, you'll love it. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all in my next video.